Tonight we're going to be making a very simple meat sauce for pasta. I don't typically use pasta out of a box and sauce out of a jar. I have somewhat of an opposition to those products because they're not as good as homemade and it's very easy to make both pasta and sauce. So that's usually what I do, but it's tired and I'm late, so we're just going to do this for now. So, um, to start off with the meats, we have, I have three different kinds of ground meats here. We're going to use up the rest of it. We have beef, we have a little bit of turkey, and some chicken. There's our meat, and then I have I have two glizzies. I really like using glizzies in the pasta sauce or sausage. You know, either one is fine. Uh, it just adds a different, different texture and some different flavors. And we'll cut this into small chunks like this. Okay, so there's our uh, our meats. And we'll go through there with a, uh, a flat spoon and we'll kind of break this up a little bit and get it to mix in. sound off on the computer before I started taping this. Alright, that's good enough. It's not super important for it to be you know, real mixed up. I mean, you're going to get the different flavors as you eat it, regardless, because it's all going into the same bowl afterwards. Okay, and then now the sauce. We want to use, I don't know, maybe that much. I love tomato sauce, one of my favorite foods. I eat it plain sometimes, I like it so much. So we'll put a lot in there. And you can see that this sauce is, uh, it's really not bad for something out of a jar. It's got a nice consistency to it. It's got a real rich, authentic flavor. It's really close to uh, a decent homemade sauce. And a little bit more. Alright, now we're ready to move over to the stove. Unfortunately this is not a gas stove, that's the one thing I didn't get in this house was gas. So the stove is the electric variety. It's a little bit difficult uh, or more difficult compared to gas as far as controlling the temperature goes because the adjustment is slow and it keeps going after you make it. So you just have to be kind of conservative when you make adjustments on here. And gradual is important. Alright, so we'll let that sit there. It looks kind of disgusting right now, but it'll get better. I'm going to really cover this in case it starts to splash. And uh, I'll let this sit in there for a while. 
I don't time it. You know, you can kind of tell when the consistency of the meat starts to change. It's very, uh, you know, kind of sticky right now, as you know, raw meat is, and it'll start to uh, firm up and become more uh, not spongy, but it'll have more uh, resilience to it. You know, it won't kind of uh, how you describe it. It won't be as uh, malleable. It'll kind of be more firm. And you got a whole bunch of different meats in there. You got some chicken and some turkey, so it's got to be cooked more on the well side. So I'll let that sit for a while and get going. I'm only using about a third power here because if you go up beyond that, it'll start to go too far. So. I'll pick back up on the video once this has gotten going. Alright, it's been going for a while now. Maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes. And, uh, it's uh, starting to get going here. It's a little bit watery, which is not correct. So we may have to drain some of the water out. Or, what you can do is you could put a bunch of um, Sometimes you can put saltine crackers in there, and that will fix that. But there's so much liquid, I think uh, you may have to drain it out. I'm not sure why it's like that. See, this is one of the problems with using sauce out of a jar, is that I can't control the liquid content that went in there. Inherently, the sauce was uh, a little bit too liquidy. So, I'm going to leave the lid off for a little while and just let the water start to evaporate into the air and hopefully it'll dry out a little bit. Alright this is starting to look better now not as liquidy so we're good on that front. I think by now all the meat should be cooked it feels correct very stiff springy it's good Put and cooked. Um, now we'll put some water on. This faucet takes forever to fill the pot. I think it's got one of those dopey flow restriction things in there. But it's dumb because it's like I'm still going to use the same amount of water, it's just going to take longer. That doesn't accomplish anything. I just did a liquid spill. Okay. Alright, turn this on. Put that on all the way hot. And we'll lower this down now. We don't need that on much at all. Just enough to keep it warm uh, until the pasta is ready. We have boiling water now, so we'll put the pasta in. The sauce has dried out nicely as it's simmered. Don't need a whole lot of pasta. The bulk of the meal here is more in the sauce. Just a little bit. And it generally takes around 10 minutes. Pasta has been going for about 10 minutes. I think it should be near or ready. Yeah, it is. I prefer a little more on the stiff side, but it's, it's good now. So we'll take it over here and drain it out.
I like to get all the water out of there. I don't like any liquidy pasta dishes. Okay, there it is. The triple meat sauce pasta. It's more like meat sauce with pasta, but that's okay. I enjoy the sauce.